Make a mark on the insulation at the desired dimension. Make a ring cut less than 90% of the way through the insulation with the ringing tool. The ringing tool needs only to be rotated by quarter turns. You do not need to rotate the tool 360 degrees around the insulation. Make two longitudinal cuts one half inch apart less than 90% through the insulation. Pry up the one half inch piece and remove. Roll the remaining insulation off, being careful not to damage the conductor strands. Make a mark on the insulation at the proper dimension. Align the tool's ruler to the proper dimension. Set the 1542 2CL on the end of the cable and set the blade depth by rotating the blade knob. Once the proper blade depth has been set, tighten the tool onto the cable. Rotate the tool around the cable counterclockwise until the conductor hits the ruler stop, making sure that you are not contacting the conductor below. You can also click over to square cut if you do not have the ruler attachment. Loosen the tool and remove from the cable. Spiral the insulation off and confirm the dimension. Mark the insulation at the proper dimension. Install the spring clamp aligned with your mark. Use the waxed twine to ring cut all the way through the insulation. Hold the twine and pull back and forth across the insulation. The friction will generate heat, which will easily cut through the insulation. Apply silicone grease to the knife blade to ease the blade through the hard insulation. Make two longitudinal cuts, one half inch apart, less than 90% of the way through the insulation, so you do not damage the conductor below. Pry the one half inch piece up and remove. Roll the remaining insulation off being careful not to damage the conductor strands. Make a mark on the insulation at the desired dimension. Set the WS64U on the end of the cable and set the blade depth. Begin removing the insulation by applying a slight pressure against the tool while rotating it around the cable in a clockwise direction. Be sure that the blade of the tool is not making contact with the conductor below. Use a gloved hand to stop the tool from making a spiral cut and square off the cut at your mark. Spiral the insulation off the conductor and confirm your dimension. Make a mark on the insulation at the proper dimension. Align the tool's ruler to the proper dimension. 
Set the 1542 to CL on the end of the cable and set the blade depth up or down as necessary by rotating the blade knob. Once the proper blade depth has been set, tighten the tool onto the cable. Ensure the blade is not hitting the conductor. Set the tool to spiral cut. Rotate the tool around the cable counterclockwise. until the end of the conductor hits the ruler stop. You can also click over to square cut if you do not have the ruler attachment. Loosen the tool and remove from the cable. Spiral the insulation off and confirm the dimension. You can sand out longitudinal superficial imperfections from the cable insulation by using a non-conductive emery cloth. Sand only if these imperfections or contaminants cannot be removed with an approved cable cleaning solvent. Uniformly sand to remove imperfections by pulling the cloth back and forth across the insulation. Do not focus on only one area as this will create a flat spot. A flat spot will trap air inside a cable accessory. This is your final opportunity to make sure the cable is clean and dry. Work wipes from the end of the cable back to the semicon as to not drag the conductive carbon from the semicon onto the insulation. This conductive material left on the insulation will cause a failure. Make a mark on the tape shield at the proper dimension. Apply a spring clamp aligned with the mark. Use a knife to create an edge to grab. Use needle nose pliers to grab the edge and peel back against the spring clamp. Remove the copper tape. Use caution as there will be sharp edges exposed. Remove the spring clamp. Apply a copper tape strip or vinyl tape to cover any sharp edges and hold down the edge. Tyco Electronics takes pride in its cable accessories and it also takes pride in the people that install them. We hope you found this cable prep video informative and helpful as it provided you choices in how to properly prep a medium voltage cable. Thank you for watching and have a safe day.